<laughs> How good are to you? See you. Very good. good to see yourself. You. All cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here just here to bring back your key that ah, I took with me the last it? time yes. I was <laughs> recording yeah, okay. here. You got it. You have it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I still have it. Uh, right. So this is uh, Lightning Recorders, uh, my favorite studio in the whole wide world in mm. Berlin, Germany. Yeah. And this is Axel, aka uh, Jerry, uh, Cherry Casino. <laughs> or is it different now? No, still Cherry. No, no, still Cherry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us something about the studio. Uh, we heard, uh, as Randy just mentioned, we heard Lightning Recorders, Berlin, Germany. A little recording studio, I'm running it together with my friend Eich Steuer. And uh, I was just about listening to uh, the latest recordings of Marianne and the Tree Tones. Okay, that happened here, yeah, the recording? Is that it, happened yeah. here not too long ago, yes. Okay, and it happened yep. on this machine there, over there? Yes, exactly. So uh, tell us something about the machine. Yeah, let's go over here. This is a, a Telefunken M10 uh, a stereo recorder. Next to it we have an M15 tape recorder, which we abuse for uh, <laughs> making slapback echo. That's uh, the only thing we're doing with it. Okay. And um, So what about uh, to the right here is the monstrous mixing desk. Yeah, the heart of the studio. Yeah, is there um, something you could buy in the 50s or 60s or um, uh, is that custom made or what is it? It is a custom made. Okay. It is custom made and uh, we took uh, some schematics of vintage equipment which we thought is reliable and cool sounding and, uh, and we were lucky enough to meet a guy uh, a fellow musician who's really into tube equipment and uh, he started out rebuilding uh, uh, guitar amplifiers okay. and uh, they sounded pretty cool and so the next challenge for him uh, was to build something for a recording studio so uh, to answer his question we thought uh, let's give him something big yeah <laughs> build, a, build a mixing desk and of course uh, uh, he said that uh, this big <laughs> yeah, he didn't shoot us he said yeah let's give it a try and uh, so he came up with a prototype and uh, he, he he came here we plugged in a microphone and uh, told him what we thought about it and uh, so step by step uh, we ended up with what we really wanted and uh, after that he built 12 of these prototypes and put them in the desk yeah. and uh, put it into shape a little bit yeah. brought it here set it up and uh, we've been using it ever since and it sounds great that's where all the microphones are coming in and uh, uh, we can direct them to pre-amplifiers and uh, from there we go uh, to the faders of the desk or we can send uh, uh, vocals or a guitar or whatever a microphone we can send it to the echo chamber or to uh, another tape recorder and basically it's like uh, 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 little telephone lines yeah. you, can, you can call me here and I take you over there or there wherever you want to go it's all possible here okay cool and then even further to the right I see uh, the mm -hmm. numbers one two three four five six seven eight so I guess this is an uh, uh, eight, eight track. It's uh, an eight track recorder. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. Another Telefunken M15 eight track recorder. So here we have the chance to uh, uh, do uh, a basic recording or a, tra a complete take with a band, and if they, whatever they feel like, they can do over apply overdubs, layers, record more vocals or another guitar, and. Uh, after that we send it back to the desk and mix it all together and then try to sell it, hoping for a big hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this is the door to the recording room. It's all new here, so I haven't been in here for a while. But uh, yes, it is. It is. I think this is how it looks like. The lightning recorders recording room. And here is our watchdog. Watch <laughs> I'm on your trail, boy. <laughs> uh, no, yes. The mics are actually too big to put it in my pocket, so uh, let's right. zoom in here. What, what do we have here? Else you can steal. <laughs> smaller. Can you tell us about the mics here, something? Yeah, here we have some American microphones, the great legends uh, of recording history. We have two ribbon microphones. This is a RCA 44 and a RCA 77. 
uh, DX and uh, both were built in the uh, 1940s and 1950s. Okay, I think I've seen Elvis with one of those at least. Yes, there's pictures of Elvis uh, using it uh, when recording Hound Dog and Don't Be Cruel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a very common mic in recording studios in the, in the United States uh, and they're still using them. They're oh. still in use, yes, yes. I think they made these up until the 80s, but I'm not sure. I might tell you why. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then um, you told me already this is your newest edition here, the Baby Grand. Yes. We had a smaller piano in here for a while, but uh, then we are, had the opportunity to buy this one uh, for a very good price, and it's in cool condition, and uh, it stays in tune. And it sounds great, everyone loves to play it, and uh, so far we haven't heard anything bad about it. Yeah, and we'll hear it next week when we actually record the yes. new record. <laughs> oh yes, we're going to do some recordings in here next week using this Baby Grand Piano. Okay, yeah. and how about the mics uh, on the right? Are we going to use those too? Uh, yeah. Probably not, because we are... Uh, uh, maybe, maybe not this one. Okay, what this what is, is this? A, this is a German microphone, this is a... a, a a tube condenser microphone, it's a Neumann U47, another a legend, and um, we will probably use uh, American microphones, because <laughs> yeah, we're trying to uh, uh, recreate the sound coming out of Sun Recording Studio in Memphis, Tennessee. This is the, uh, the main goal of the recording session, we're paying tribute to the sounds coming out of the studio, so of course we're going to use uh, American microphones, because Sam Phillips use American microphones. We'll probably use Electrowise microphone, maybe not this one or a similar one. This is a Electrowise 664. We're probably going to use a 666. It looks pretty similar, has a slightly different sound. So uh, we're going to take some pictures during the session, check it out later on. Maybe on Facebook, Randy's going to post some, I'm sure.